What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Katie Uncensored. This time we're doing something a little bit different. I want to sit down here and talk to you guys about some things. Because you know the new year is literally tomorrow. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. But the new year is literally around the corner. Like that's so crazy. A decade has gone by like that. Like tomorrow literally starts a new decade. And we still ain't got no flying cars. Like the little future, back to the future, the Jetsons, all that to us. We're supposed to be having flying cars. But anyway, I digress. Today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to create a video to start my year off right. I bought a crap ton of filming equipment that I'm so excited to use. And I'm going to do a tour of that on my other channel, which would be somewhere. I'm going to put it somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know that is gonna show you my whole entire setup everything I have it's about a little bit under four thousand dollars of a setup but yeah that's neither here nor there it's just something I'm really really proud of and it took me quite some time to get here but I'm excited that I finally have it I'm excited that I have most of everything that I want but all of the rest of that stuff will come in time get down to the business today what I wanted to talk to you guys about is something that's very important and near and dear to me this decade has been a crazy ride for me like so many things have happened for me in this decade both good bad and indifferent but it happened i used to look at them as mistakes and stuff like that but reality is they were just lessons that i had to learn at some point in time let's see i'm gonna do a short recap of what happened to me this decade i graduated high school i graduated college three years after i graduated high school uh try to insert some cute little pictures of me somewhere of what i look like then I graduated high school a early college high school i went to where i met a lot of amazing people that i'm still really close with shout out to y'all three years later i graduated from university of north texas up in denton texas as close to dallas uh with my criminal justice degree i went to the military in 2016 i joined the military may 11th of 2016 and my last day in the military was may 11 2019. i did three years national guard so yes I was in the military for a short stint. It was definitely an experience. And if you guys wanna know about that, I can share that information. Well, I can only share my experiences that I dealt with in that situation, but yeah. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. I got my first girlfriend. I had three girlfriends. This decade, I came out. That's still really weird to say. I came out this year to my family. That was also quite an experience. 2015, I had my very first girlfriend, real official girlfriend. That relationship taught me a lot and I learned a lot from that person. I appreciate that person because they taught me things about myself that I did not want to learn and I did not want to, you know, face. So to that person, I appreciate you for all that you taught me and there's no ill feelings, this direction for them. Now on to my current relationship. I am in a, an amazing relationship with an amazing woman. She's at work right now and I love her dearly. I'm in an amazing relationship with her and yeah, she loves me and I love her so much. We've been together for four years, four long years, four very, very long years, but we make it work. I moved out on my own, had my own place. A beautiful place I just had to move out because um, things got a little too expensive for my taste for a one-bedroom apartment on stilts because that's what it was they sold it as a townhouse but reality it was it was a one-bedroom apartment on stilts which was crazy to me but whatever but what else happened this decade like I said so much stuff happened to me this decade um, and I'm beyond grateful for mm, I cut off all my hair I grew all my hair back I cut off my hair again and I grew it all back and now you girl is rocking locks. They need to be redone and I need to go to my girl Ariel so I can get a, a haircut. But yeah, now I have locks. I am almost seven months strong on my locks. It's been a great journey with that. Long, but great. So that brings us to here. The end of 2019. My last year in this decade. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video yet but I'm just really just talking to you guys. I don't really know how much of it I'm actually gonna use. I said all that to say this, I dealt with a lot of things 
this year, like everything wasn't all peaches and cream. I dealt with a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of things that really took me under. I almost died a couple of times, I almost committed suicide a few times, you know. Depression is a crazy thing, but I'm here today by the grace of God and it's because of him that all the things I have are, are because of him. And I am beyond grateful for all the things he took me through and all the things he's taking me through to get to this place of peace. And for the year 2020, I don't want to say I don't want to be that cliche person of Like, I'm not gonna put all that stress on myself because if I do that and I get through 2020 and I didn't accomplish the goals that I set for myself on January 1st, then I'm gonna be real disappointed and I'm gonna be really upset because I didn't accomplish my goals. So reality is, what I wanna say to my 2020 self is be proud of yourself. You've come so far, you're not where you used to be. All things are gonna work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And you know you love the Lord. It's written all over your body in tattoos. <laughs> God is amazing. And he's gonna see you through all the things you're gonna go through, all your growth, your failures, your success. Remember God in everything. And then just know that he's gonna carry you over. Um, this year, I plan to focus more on myself because my entire life I focused on other people and put myself last so many times and it's affecting me in so many ways. I just have a really big heart and I can't help it. But yeah, this year though, it, it's it's my year to focus on me and getting me right, both with my health, because my health is out of this world crazy, because <laughs> I don't eat right and I don't exercise, so I've gained quite a lot of weight since I started this decade. I've made a lot of bad decisions, but we're not gonna get into that. We're just gonna know that from this point forward, we're gonna make better decisions. We're gonna do better things, greater things, and anything that we cannot control, we're gonna leave it to God and all things we can control, we will with positivity and love. Um, yeah, so this 2020, I challenge y'all to do wonderful things and be amazing and give so much self-love. You need self-love. Do not depend on anybody else for love because if you do, you're gonna fail if that person doesn't meet your expectations. Love yourself because if you if you can't love you, nobody else can. Because you don't know how to love your own self. So how do you expect somebody else to love you? So 2020, make this year about you and loving you and knowing what's best for you and doing what's best for you. Achieve all your dreams. Shoot for the stars. Don't allow anybody to take you under. Don't allow anybody to put I can't into your brain because you can. But God, all things are possible. I cannot express that. If y'all knew all the things I've been through, y'all will understand why I keep saying that because it's, it's real, it's real. So with that being said, to the year 2020, I'm ready to face you head on, I ain't scared. I ain't never scared, I ain't never scared. Anyway, yeah, uh, so I can't wait to be posting on my channel, uh, this channel and my gaming channel, because I have new games, I have some videos coming up, I've already posted some videos, yeah. So I appreciate you guys for watching, subscribing to those who are going to subscribe to me or haven't already. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button somewhere down in this area. Follow all my social medias. And yeah, um, to my family who's going to watch this and didn't know that I was gay or because I come from a very Christian background, um, I don't apologize. I don't apologize for being me. I just ask that you love me. And if you can't, then stay away with all your negativity and all your negative energy. Um, I'm happy over here. And yeah, I love you anyway. Remember that. I'm trying to think about what else I want to say. I'll clear my face up, hopefully. Y'all seeing all these pimples and stuff. Ugh, face is terrible. So, that being said, I just want y'all to know that I love you dearly. If nobody has told you today, you're wonderful, you're beautiful, you're handsome. I just want you guys to have a blessed year, blessed next 10 years. Shout out to all those people we lost this decade, old and young. We lost so many people. And just pray that God, they're resting with God now and they finally found their peace. So with that being said, I just want y'all to know that God loves you and I do too. See y'all next video. Peace. Hi. I'm a mess in the dark. I'm a mess in the dark. I'm
I'm on my mansion in the dark. I'm on my mansion in the dark. I'm on my mansion.